Thanks, Taraji. What's up, my YouTube family? I'm back for another product review. And this is a product review I'm so excited about doing because I wanted to try these products for so long. And that is the TPH by Taraji Hair Care Products. And so she has a whole bunch of products, um, like Overkill. I only got three of them. I got the Make It Rain, Hy Hy Make it Rain Hydration Rich Conditioner, the Ride or Die Detangling Leave-In Conditioner, and the Smooth Attitude a Mending and Hydrating Milk. I got what I felt my hair needed and I always want hydration. So that's what I'm looking for. I did not buy any of her shampoos because I just have too much shampoo and I just don't care about shampoo. I have some that works for me so I'm just going to stick with that for now. I just I have too much. I don't need any more of that. So the first thing, um, I already washed my hair with just whatever shampoo I had in my shower. Um, and I did actually already apply the conditioner. The Make It Rain Hydration Rich Conditioner and um, I'm just going to be upfront about it right off the bat. The smell is horrible. When I first opened it and started applying it, I was just like literally, um, um, it just, it stinks. It smells like she tried to make her conditioner smell like some kind of cologne or something. And um, it, it's a no for me. So that just kind of turned me off. And maybe that's the why perhaps that I never purchased it at Target because I probably opened it up and smelled it. But I just really don't remember. Um, when I did apply it to my hair, however, it felt pretty good. Um, another thing I will tell you that I don't like about it is the container. Now this is nice and sleek and elegant. All her products are. I love the way they look. This will look nice on my product shelf. However, you have no way of knowing how much conditioner you have left. And um, my thought would be either just make it a clear bottle altogether. You could still use this color or put one of those clear stripes on the side so you can at least see, you know, hey, do I have that much left? Do I have that much left? You know, whatever. You just kind of go into the shower blind. With this kind of container but i know she was trying to make it look real nice so i'll give her those kind of props so anyway i purposely left a little portion of my hair out that i didn't put conditioner on yet and didn't detangle yet because i just wanted to show you guys how it works this is my hair like i said this has not been detangled and mind you um this my hair this just came out of a wash and go so it's not like it was detangled already. I'm use this much. It's just regular conditioner. The consistency is the same as any other conditioner. Finger detangle a little bit. You see my fingers are gliding through and that kind of like never happens with my hair. So I think the conditioner actually is pretty good. Yet yeah, look at this. The comb is going right through. So I will give her that. The, it does have a lot of slip. Yeah, so I'm happy about that part, the just the smell is just horrible. But anyway, so I'm going to um, let this conditioner sit on my hair. Actually, I don't even know what her. I I don't really listen to instructions, but it says leave on two or three minutes or longer. You do you. I'm gonna do me, and I'm gonna leave it on for at least 15 minutes, and probably sit in the dryer too. And then I'll come back and go over the rest of the products. Okay, I'm back. Um, something I forgot to mention that may be important to some of you guys is that um, all her products are vegan, cruelty-free, SLS, SLES-free. I don't even know what that is. Flat, Flatulate-free. Don't know what that is. I'm sure it's something bad. Obviously, she put it on here. Paraben-free and mineral oil-free. Also, something that I noticed on these two products, she does not list the ingredients. Okay, no comment on that. On this one, she did list ingredients though. I don't know what the correlation is there. But anyway, okay, so I rinsed it out and I rinsed it really good because I want to try to get as much of that funky smell out of my hair as possible. And to let you guys know what it smells like when I say funky, when I say cheap men's cologne, it smells like you're trying to wash your hair with like Axe, you know, the Axe stuff you can buy at Target or the grocery store or whatever that's like men's. They have soap, deodorant spray all that stuff that's what it smells like you're trying to put in your hair i don't like that in my hair and some people might think that smells good and there are a lot of things that i think smell good but it doesn't mean that i want my hair to smell like that like i think lasagna and garlic bread smells good but i do not want my hair to smell like that i like my hair to smell a certain way my body to smell a certain way like some good perfume and soap or something like that you know 
whatever. But anyway, so now I'm on to the next step and that is the Ride or Die Detangling Leave-In Conditioner. Now we'll give a disclaimer. I detangle my hair when I have conditioner in it or deep conditioner. I don't rely on any leave-in to detangle my hair. I like for them to say that they detangle just in case, but I don't rely on that. So my hair is already detangled. But I want to see if this has any slip in it anyway. So I'm going to take this little piece like this. Okay, there it goes. Now I got it in my eye. Okay. Now another thing for me, and this is just a personal preference, it doesn't mean that the conditioner doesn't work. I personally don't like spray leave-in <laughs> conditioners. I prefer it to just be like creamy and you just put it in your hand. And I can achieve that by opening this and putting it in my hand, but I just wanted to throw that out there. Okay. Brush goes right through. Like I said, my hair was already tangled though, so that's not a true test. Um, just as a first feel of my hair, I don't think this is the kind of detangler that I normally would purchase. Um, I like mine to give my hair kind of a moisturized feel, and I don't feel that with this. Okay, so the, this leave-in has a similar smell as the conditioner, but it's a little tiny bit better and a little um, lighter, so... Thanks, Taraji. So anyway, I'm just going to um, finish applying the leave-in. I'm going to apply the leave-in conditioner to all of my hair. <sighs> to all of my hair first. And then I'm going to go back and put this styling lotion in or whatever it is. Okay, so I've applied leave-in conditioner to all of my hair. And after I started kind of combing it through and stuff, it does make my hair feel moisturized. So it's not as bad as I thought. I just don't like the smell or the bottle that it comes in. Now this, I just bought this Smooth Attitude Mini and Hydrating Hair Milk. I didn't really know what I'm really going to do with it. But um, it says Smooth Attitude is a versatile milky cream formula that takes a sophisticated and sleek approach to flyaways and unruly hair, especially made for curly coily and mixed texture hair to provide touchable life hold while helping to hydrate, prevent breakage, and provide frizz free shine. Smooth Attitude is perfect for twists, braids, and pulled back ponytails or puffs. So, hmm. I think I'm going to twist my hair and do it, try to twist out with this. I don't know if that's really what it's for. Um, this comes in like a squeeze bottle, so this is much better to me. It has that men's cologne kind of smell again, but this again is not as bad as the conditioner, so I can live with that. It's just cream, milk, whatever you want to call it. Of all the products, actually, this has the best smell of all the products that I have. Okay, it doesn't feel moisturizing at all, I'll tell you that much. Um, she doesn't really say that it moisturizes. It says it, it's infused with agave. Is that how you say it? Boa bob oil. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Shea and mango butter. Shea and mango butters is always good. Um, like I said, it doesn't feel moisturized at all but she doesn't really claim that it does I guess <laughs> I don't know how good this is gonna be for a twist out this is just an experiment right here also okay it's really light so if you don't like heavy um, products I actually do like heavy but if you don't you like more lighter products I would say that all three of the products I use are pretty light for my taste Okay, so these are the finished twists. I don't know if you guys seen, I don't know what footage I'm gonna end up cutting out, but um, the reason why I got one of my eyes closed is because I was applying some of the product and I think on one part I was combing it or something. I slung some of that TPH in my eye and it's burning like crazy. And I went and, go, went, excuse me, I went and rinsed it out with some cold water, but it still don't feel right. So I finished this side with one eye closed. I don't know how good those twists look or whatever. I'm about to go rinse my eye out some more. But anyway, I'm going to let this dry and then I'll come back and let you guys see the final results. Okay, I'm back and my hair is completely dry. Um, I will say my hair feels very moisturized right now. Like it's like really soft. And I'll see when I unravel the twist if it's going to have any kind of hold or not. But I mean, it just it feels like super soft. I thought for sure I was going to have something bad to say about that. Um... I keep forgetting what it's called. Smooth Attitude Mending and Hydrating Hair Milk. But I think I'm actually going to kind of like it. Okay, look. The twists are definitely defined.
Okay, so I lied, my hair is not completely dry. Let me go diffuse it a little bit. <laughs> okay, now my hair is dry for real. Okay, so I thought I was gonna have something really bad to say about these products because the smell turned me off so bad, but I actually don't. So I'll just start from the beginning of everything that I use today. Um, the Make It Rain Hydration Rich Conditioner. I actually really like this conditioner. It's the smell that I don't like. However, I will say, that I hardly smell it in my hair after this has been rinsed out and after my hair is dried. So I probably will actually buy this again. It did, it detangled really well. It had good slip. My hair feels really hydrated and moisturized. So I actually kind of like this. Like I said in the beginning, the only thing I don't like is the container that it's in. I wish she had something, some kind of indicator on here to show how much conditioner you have left. Um, the next thing that I used was the Ride or Die Detangling Leave-In Conditioner. Um, I didn't see anything extra about this and I'm not really that big of a fan. I don't like spray bottle um, leave-in conditioners that much so I probably won't be buying this again. Um, and then the Smooth Attitude Mini and Hydrating Hair Milk. I actually really like this. It really did good on my twist out and I think it actually, um, based on what my twist looked like, it would probably do good just to wear two strand twist. I'm not crazy about the smell, but again, after my hair is dried, I don't really smell it that much. Um, I like the tube this is in because you can you can tell um, how much you have left in there, so it doesn't matter if you can see through it or not. Um, I did also notice this says kink or yeah, curly, coily, and this says uh, for all hair types, so you might want to keep that in mind if you're thinking about making a purchase. I don't think it really matters. Just use whatever works um, for your hair. Um, another thing is about... I know you guys tired of me harping on the smell so much, but I just gotta say one more thing. This is why I don't like stuff that has this kind of perfumey, smelly. Um, I I do mix products, like I'll use a shampoo from one line, a conditioner from one line, a twisting butter from another line or something like that. And sometimes I do use all the products from the same line, but these smells are not, to me, not something that you would want to mix with something else. I don't, I, I can't see that being good at all. Now, all three of the products I used, the smells were a little bit different, but kind of similar, so it kind of worked. But I can't imagine mixing this with the smell of something that smelled buttery or like cake batter or something like that, or something that has a floral scent to it. So you might want to keep that in mind as well. Like I said, she has a lot of products. Like this is not even half of the products that she offers. And but these are the ones that seem most like what my hair needs i don't think i will be trying any more of her products though to be completely honest these weren't overly expensive um and i'll put the prices in the description or you can just look it up just on target online or whatever she might even have a website i'm not sure um they're not that expensive but um i don't know it's just like i don't know i just don't i don't think i'm gonna try any <laughs> of the other ones i wasn't I like this conditioner, but I wasn't so impressed. Like, it's like, oh, I want to go out and try all the other stuff. Plus, it just didn't seem like it would do what my hair needs. So, again, um, I thought I was going to have something bad to say, but I actually like it. You guys, if you see any of my other videos, I do not fluff my twist outs that much. I just let them hang, and then they'll fluff naturally after a few days, and that makes it last longer without me having to retwist all the time. So, that's why you don't see me doing much with this. But I do like it. My curls are really defined, and my hair is super soft, and it's bouncy. And it just feels um, really good. So um, I don't know about the other products, but the ones I use, I would say Taraji did a pretty good job. I really wish she'd make a line that didn't have that kind of fragrance. Um, I am a fan of hers as an actress. Um, I don't, still with her hair products, I don't know if I would just tell people, ooh, you got to try the TPH by Taraji hair products. I don't know if I'm that overjoyed over them or whatever but they did i don't feel like especially on the conditioner i don't feel that i wasted my money or anything like that if you anyway if you like this video thumbs up if you want to just drop a comment go ahead and do that and if you're not already subscribed what are you waiting for go ahead and click the subscribe button and the notifications so you'll be notified every time i upload a new video i'll see you next time